Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to replace the tape on a Dymo Letratag label maker. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this Dymo Letratag compact label maker, and this is specifically the Dymo Letratag 100H, and I'm gonna show you how to replace the cassette or the tape uh, or the feed, as some people call it. Um, and whether you have this label maker or a different one within the Letratag series, it's probably gonna be very, very similar, so let's get right into the video. I'm sorry about the poor lighting. There's a little bit of a glare. I do apologize. Uh, the sun is shining in this direction and it's just the best that I could do given the circumstances of filming this in the car But bear with me because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it really easily <clears throat> So here's the tape and when you want to uh, remove the tape I, I didn't say that properly. I said here's the tape not a big deal But let's let's pronounce it and enunciate properly here is the tape Okay, when you want to remove the tape what you have to do. Sorry my, my I just have to say this um, Sometimes when I speak fast uh, my enunciation suffers so I'm going to try and speak a little bit more slowly so I can speak the words more properly throughout the rest of the video, okay? So here is the tape. I just said it again. No big deal. We're going to go with the video. We're just going to roll with it. Here is the cassette tape or the cassette. Um, that doesn't even make any sense. Now we're talking about cassette tapes like VHS, like my dad used to film with the camcorder. We're going to just retry this little bit over here. Um, this is how we do it. We just roll with the punches. So here is the feed, which is known as the tape or the cassette. Now to remove this, all that you have to do is pull it out. Okay. Very, very simple. You want to grip it really nice and pull it out. Um, you might have to angle it a bit, but you want to try and not angle it too much because you want to try and pull it out as straightly as possible. So just pull it out like that. A lot of people think that there's a release button for it. And to be honest with you, I looked everywhere for a release button and I couldn't find it. So as far as I know, you just have to pull it out. Now, when you want to replace the cassette with a new feed, what you want to do is take a look over here. And it basically shows you the orientation of the feed. But when you look at it, essentially, you're going to be able to see the amount of remaining tape over here through this line. You want that line to be facing you. So when I'm looking at the unit, that line is facing me. This sort of side without any uh, indication of how much tape is left, that goes touching the, the actual uh, label maker itself. So take the tape, the new tape that you're using, the new uh, cassette, whatever you want to call it, the new print piece that you're using, and you want to press it in there nicely so line it up nicely press it in there as sort of as flatly as possible just like that and you want it to click in place now you'll know that it is in there properly if you can easily close this flap so if i sort of push this down there's no pressure needed it just closes if you need to apply pressure then that means it's not in there properly so once again to remove the old cassette you just have to simply pull it out like that okay to put the new one in make sure it's in the right orientation so you can see this when you're looking directly at it like that okay press it in place nice and flatly and you'll know that it's in place number one if you can sort of close this easily like that without any pressure at all and number two if you go to print something and it prints fine if you print the label perfectly fine and properly then you know you've replaced it properly and that is essentially it that is how to replace the tape on a Dymo Letratag label maker. Once again, this is the Dymo Letratag 100H. But even if you have a different Letratag model within the series, it's probably going to be very, very similar. And this has been an easy tutorial. I apologize about all of the extra stuff that I talked about throughout the video, but I showed you how to do it. It's still relatively short, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.